Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today I have some fun stuff to share with you. But to start off, my morning was awful. I slept so bad. So I decided to sleep in a little and it's also my mom's birthday today. So I spent some time with her this morning. I had cake for breakfast. But um, yeah, today is just kind of going to be like a work day at home. And then I have an event at six, which is from Essay Lauder. But like Essay Lauder owns like other brands as well. So it's going to be like just full of different brands. I think it's supposed to last like an hour and a half. So I'm just going to take you guys along to that as well. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get some type of goodie bag when we leave the event. So then, so then when I get home, I'll like show you what I got and stuff. That'll be fun. Um, but yeah, as I said, I slept so bad. I just took a shower and got dressed. I'll show you my outfit later. Um, and I'm, I was supposed to get a package from UPS. Again, if you watch my previous vlog, they said i wasn't home and shit this has happened like over five times now and i'm so sick of it but i wanted to do this in the last vlog but then obviously i didn't have the package in time so i'm hoping before i go to the event i'll be able to pick up that package so i can show you guys because i wanted to share some daniel wellington goodies with you because they're sponsoring part of this video um so yeah we're gonna have to wait until i get a message that i can pick up the package because i do already have one watch but they also send me two other pieces that i want to share with you so i'm just gonna have to be patient for that but i'm just going to brush my teeth do my skincare right now and i'm probably not going to do my makeup until a little bit later because i don't have to be at the event until six i'm probably gonna leave around like five so i'm gonna do my makeup around four because like i want it to be like somewhat like fresh before i go and not have it be on all day already so this morning was quite a challenge if any of you suffer from anxiety let me know if you feel me on this but i feel like whenever i like don't sleep all night like my anxiety gets worse and it gets harder for me to get through the day and most of the time I would let it completely take over my day and my mood and I just like wouldn't be able to function properly but this morning I was like you know because I was like oh I need to vlog but I don't really feel like it anymore like I slept so bad I'm so like anxious like everything sucks but I kind of got over it and I was like no at least you're gonna vlog anyways just stay in bed for a little bit longer you know try and get a little bit more sleep take a shower you know and just start off your day because there's no point in like staying in bed and letting it take over so let me know if you feel me on this but it, it was quite a challenge but i'm glad that i kind of got over it and we're just gonna enjoy the day and make it as good as possible i have this really painful pimple on my nose it's like underneath my skin and it's like kind of swollen love that for me So yeah, I have quite some work to do today. I have two videos to edit, which I'm probably not going to be able to edit both of them before I leave. And I also need to study some math. But, um, yeah, I think that'll be fine. Should be fine. You've always felt like a part of you has gone missing. I know it's... I have this really fun video idea, so let me know if you guys... Would like that and basically i was thinking of doing like a video on the ordinary skincare and like using it for like a whole month and then like kind of showing you like the before and afters because i've never really tried their skincare like i think i've tried their oil once when i was sleeping over at my best friend's place but i really want to try it out because it's very inexpensive and i've heard a lot of great things about it so let me know if you guys want to see that. And I think I'd also want to do kind of some type of giveaway. Because I'm really close to 200k. And I feel like by the time that I would post that, I might have already reached it. Maybe not. I don't know. But let me know if you want to see that. Um, That video will just like take quite a while to film. Because I'm obviously doing it over like a month's time. If you want to know my current skincare routine, I will leave a link down below. If I don't forget. <laughs> because I did a video on that recently and it hasn't changed yet so my room is oh my god i look so white what the fuck my room is quite a mess so i'm gonna go ahead and kind of tidy that up also i sometimes get it's not often but sometimes i get comments and people are like oh why do you call yourself pale like what 
people don't realize that just because i'm black or mixed doesn't mean i can't get pale like i lost my summer tan so i feel super pale like my face is very pale i look sick almost and that's what i mean by pale i'm not saying i'm white i'm just saying i look pale like i need my tan back someone was like oh like it kind of seems like you want to be lighter than you are like absolutely not like i'm trying to be darker because i feel too light right now Anyways, just wanted to say that real quick. When I say I look pale or I feel pale, it's because I lost my summer tan and I was really nice and tan and dark this summer and I miss it. So there's that. But I'm telling you, it's closer than you know. I'm really trying to keep it cool now. Don't you see that you're a fool? It's time to open your eyes and let go. Camera's balancing on my water bottle. I hope it kind of stays. So I just finished kind of tidying up my room, and now I'm just gonna ugh, quickly look at my planner. See what I have to do. This lighting is awful. I'm so sorry. So it's 1:30. I need to leave around five, I think. So I have some time left. I think what I'm gonna do right now is edit one video. Um, can I pick up the package yet? Let me see. I think I'm gonna do that after I finish editing so I can show you the Daniel Wellington goodies that I got because I really want to share it. You got a lot of exes, but none of them know you better. The stories you've heard could be you and I. Hey, let me. So it's currently 3 p.m. and I just finished editing. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the package now before I do my hair and makeup because I really want to show you my goodies and then I will start getting ready because um, I have to leave in like two hours. I have two hours to do that, which is going to be fun, but I'm just quickly going to run to the post office to get my package and then I'll be back. Okay, I finally have the package. So Daniel Wellington is sponsoring this part of the video and I'm super excited to be working with them. They reached out and asked if they could send me their iconic link watch, which is this one. And oh my God, it's so beautiful. Do you have to say that the iconic link one, I still have to get um, like, what do you call it? Like I need to get it made smaller for me because it's currently too big because I just have tiny wrists. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And it is so gorgeous. And then they also decided to send me another package, which is so sweet. That wasn't even like in the plans. Like they were just going to send me this one. This is the cuff. Oh, that is gorgeous. Just a really simple cuff bracelet. Oh my God. That is so pretty. Oh, so satisfying. So this is what this one looks like. So I'm going to be having a 15% discount code with them, which I will put on the screen because I don't know it yet. But if you use my code, you can get 15% off your order. And I will leave a link in the description where you can shop all their products. And especially since the holidays are coming up, I think it'll be great to give one of these away as a gift. I think this will be a great gift to give to like your mom or like your sister. And I just want to thank Danny Wellington for sponsoring this for the video and giving me all these pretty goodies. Right, so it's time for me to start doing my hair and makeup and i was thinking of just sitting at my desk and doing this and i'm feeling like a little bit ready with me i hope the lighting isn't too bad like i have my little desk lamp here so it's not the best Try to guide you out to come once. Just 
just give me your Oh, we gotta let go camera died but I just finished doing my makeup and if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my lips even though this color isn't very accurate because the lighting sucks I'm wearing the MAC cork lip liner the L'Oreal liquid lipstick and Volupto Shoko this is like the lip chocolate line and then the L'Oreal lipstick in 652 color reach I don't know it's almost rubbed off I'm just quickly going to fix my hair I don't know if I want to do anything to it, honestly. I put it in a side part earlier where I love to get my package. And it still kind of has curls or like waves from yesterday. So I might just leave it as is. This is honestly fine with me. I just am not really in the mood to try it and make my hair look good. I feel that. The reason why I don't like wearing liquid, li liquid lipsticks is because so dry okay so let me go ahead and show you my outfit i need to leave in like what time do i have to leave i kind of want to grab something to eat on the way there so i'll probably leave in like a couple minutes actually so i can take my time and get some food somewhere this is the outfit i'm wearing um my hoodie is pretty little thing blazer is bershka bag is shein jeans are also bershka and then my boots are doc martens and i um, really like this bag and it's going to fit my camera perfectly so i'm happy about that uh, but yeah i'm about to go leave grab something to eat and then go to the event so i'm gonna take you with
part of you has gone missing. I know it's real, but I'm telling you. I just got home from the event. I'm literally so tired, but I got this little Christmas box present goodie bag. So I want to show you guys what I got before ending off the vlog because I'm pretty sure there's some cute stuff in there. So got a box right here. The event was so beautiful. Like everything else is gorgeous. Yeah, like. A lot of different stands of different brands and it was really cool and like i was at this clinic stand and they did this like face scan and you were able to like put in like your skin type and texture and everything not texture but like skin type and all of that and they gave you like this little and it was like some type of anime it was really cool um no idea what's in here but we're gonna find out oh says the essay lauder companies hopes you had a great time at this magical christmas fair and wishes you a merry christmas and beautiful 2020 so cute Ooh. okay so i got a bumble and bumble let's see bond building styler with honey protective complex polishes and builds bonds for a healthy glow smooth provides light holds uh, protects against heat heat damage I'm guessing it's some type of, yeah, you need to apply to damp hair before heat setting or air drying. Some type of leave-in. Let me smell that. I can't. Mmm, it smells really good. Check out this one. Then I got a Clinique High Impact Mascara. Why am I smelling a mascara? Oh my. I cannot do shit. Okay, so I got a new mascara. Always fun. Ooh, I got an Origins over Overnight Hydrating Face Mask. Oh my god, I'm going to try this tonight. I'm going to put this all for you guys tonight when I change my makeup. That is so fun. I've never tried an overnight mask. And it's, it's made with avocado and glacier water. Never tried an overnight mask, but I'm excited to try this one. And the last thing I got is from Jo Malone. I've never had anything Jo Malone before. The box is really pretty. Oh, it's a candle! Oh my god. That is so cool. It's a peony and blush suede scented candle. Oh, this smells really good. Oh my god. Okay, I'm definitely burning this tonight. That is so cute. Only thing I don't like is that it's silver, but like, honestly, like, I got this for free. So like, shut up, don't complain. I had two slices of cake for breakfast and then I had a veggie with chicken, which is definitely not enough and it's also very unhealthy. So I am going to see what I can eat. I mean, I can cook. I just don't enjoy it. It's not that I don't enjoy cooking. It's just like I'm not, especially when I'm like tired from like all day. Like, you know, I need to get into the habit of cooking though. I'm just going to quickly ask if my mom, if she can make something for me. If not, I'm going to have to make something myself. And probably take off my makeup, put on the face mask, and then I'm going to study and edit. Yeah, I hope you guys still kind of like this video, though. I feel like um, I try to vlog on days when I know that I have, like, an event or something so that I can go out and, like, show you more than just me sitting at home. But, like, most of my vlogs will just be me at home because that's just most of my days. Like, I don't want to give you guys an unrealistic glimpse into my life because my life just isn't that exciting and most of the things that I do is like I just work like I'm at home working and then sometimes I go out with a friend you know for like lunch or I go out clubbing sometimes and that's literally my life like I don't do anything else I just do a lot of work and it can get kind of boring so I try to switch it up you know on days that I do have something else to do as well. But if you guys don't mind, I'm definitely, I want to vlog more. I'm not going to do weekly vlogs as I've said before, but I do just want to kind of do those day in the lives and do like some routine videos because I think they're really fun to film and they're just like, I know, fun to do and um, it kind of gives you a glimpse of what my life is like. Yeah, not everyone's going to enjoy me sitting at home all the time and like doing work and like, you know, not being like one of those LA vloggers or like New York vloggers that like, go out and do all this fun stuff. But that's just my life, like... I have social anxiety as well. It's not as bad as it used to be, but like my social anxiety definitely also limits me a lot because like an event like today, I would never go by myself. If I were to go to events by myself, I would I would get invited to way more than I am currently because everyone from like the PR companies 
or like I only work with one PR company, but they pretty much know that I only attend an event if my sister is going. So like if they know she's not going or they aren't inviting her, they're not even gonna try because I don't go by myself because my anxiety doesn't let me. So but yeah, today was fun. And it's actually quite a cute corner. I should sit here more often. Also need to drink more water. Oh my god, I barely drank any water today. <laughs> See how this goes? It smells like... Oh, it smells so good. I'm not sure if you're supposed to like put like a thick layer on. Because I'm putting on quite a lot. Maybe that's too much. Do you just put it on like a moisturizer? Okay, now I don't like the smell anymore. It does feel really cooling on my skin and just like really hydrating. So at the end of the night, if I don't forget, I'll give you a little update on how my skin feels. But... Okay, I'm gonna go eat now. I just put on some comfy clothes. And now that I've had the mask on for a bit, I can definitely tell, like, you can see my skin's very glowy. It's a little sticky, but it feels so nice. And I feel like this is gonna be really good for me because I love putting on masks, but most of the time I forget to do it. And usually when I put on a mask, it's like a clay mask, so it's, like, not necessarily hydrating. And sometimes I really do need the hydration. Like, today I could feel it, so my skin looks really good. So yeah, that's great. Um, also, I forgot to say that I got this like foundation sample from Clinique. I forgot which foundation it was. I don't know if it's going to match me, but I'm going to probably try it out tomorrow. No, maybe not tomorrow because I have to have my makeup on all day. But I'm going to try it out. Maybe it's good and I'll purchase it. Um, also, that Jo Malone candle smells so good. It literally smells like heaven. <sighs> oh my god, I'm so tired. I'm going to study... Yeah, I'll probably just do a little montage of me studying and editing and like, you know. Also, this hoodie is from Shein and it's so comfortable. It's the softest hoodie ever. And it smelled really bad when I got it, but now that it's been washed, like, oh my god. I got myself sunflower seeds for when I'm done as like a treat. It's closer than you know, I'm really trying to keep it cool now. Don't you see that you're a fool? I just read this three times and I don't get it. <laughs> okay, let me just write it. I just finished studying and my mom came and brought me some more cake. <sighs> I hate math so much. Like, math is literally one of my least favorite subjects. But, you know, I really have to get this done. I mean, I have four months, so I have enough time, but I really just want to get you know a little bit done every other day i'm just not good at math so but all i have left to do is edit so i think i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and of course subscribe also make sure to turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified every time i upload a video um my instagram is always linked down below so make sure to follow me on there to see even more of my personal life and like my outfits and just memes and random shit that i post on my story all the time um so yeah follow me and dm me if you want to talk because i love reading your dms i can't always answer all of them but i really try to um yeah i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video